Hasbot 2.0 trade server. Uh, let's set up a bot that is our own style of bot. Okay, so you can add indicators, insurances, and safeties in order to create your own bot. First of all, you want to go to the general settings and decide what exchange you want to trade on. For example, today we're using Bitfinex and the Bitcoin USD pair. All right, once you've decided that, then you can come over here and pick an indicator. Just hit the plus symbol and select your indicator from the drop down menu. There's a lot of different indicators to choose from, and I've already picked some for us. I've just got an EMA and an RSI today. So here's an EMA, and you can decide the update time, and you can change here the settings. Swing is basically the same as height, and you've got your short and your long EMA. You can also say, I don't want the EMA to buy. I only want it to sell or other way, or you could also reverse the signal. Another thing you can do that's pretty cool is you could get the signal from another exchange. For example, you could say, I want the signal from BTCE, but we're going to trade on Bitfinex or the other way around. Okay, let's go back and let's check out the RSI. So we've got the RSI as a standard 14, also 15 minutes and 3070 here. And up here you can see where this indicator would have bought or sold. Here's the red and green dots up there, and that's showing you what this indicator alone would have done. So you can just uh, go up here and back test the indicator, and then it's going to show you where what the indicator alone would have done. Okay, so the bot itself is made up of two indicators, and only when these two indicators agree is an action going to take place. So if the EMA agrees to buy and the RSI agrees to buy, then a buy will happen. The same thing for selling. But if the RSI wants to buy and the EMA wants to sell, nothing happens, and so on. This is how the logic of the bot works, and that would, would be the same depending on the more indicators you add. Typically, the more indicators you have, the less trades you have, but they could be stronger trades. So if you want something to trade more often, maybe you should just use something like two indicators or one indicator and an insurance. And if you want something to trade less often but get bigger movements, then perhaps you should try to use three indicators or more, or you could put your settings on longer terms. For example, today I've just got them on 15 minutes, but if you want to get big movements, then maybe you should go to one hour, two hour, four hour, or day. Okay, that's just to give you an idea of what it can do. Okay, and then we can backtest just this bot, past 24 hours, press start, and it's going to do its little thing, and okay, it made two trades, and it made uh, 58 cents for us with a trade amount of 1 BTC. Okay, it's, it's not a lot, but it's profitable, so that's what this bot did, and what we can also do is go here to the trade bot overview page. Yes, we want to look at that, and we can check out the log what did it do exactly okay so here we go and let's go to the trade logbook itself and so it sold at 236 and bought back at 234.89 in our back test of course the back test is not going to predict the future but it can give you an idea how the setup works or if the setup doesn't work Okay, and that's all for today. Thanks for watching.